The Whitbread Gold Cup is next in. This is a three mile, five furlong grade three handicap. End of season showpiece at Sandown. Always a good race. This uh, at the top this year we've got Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Nashville Ortega, Vinny Gerard. I do, I do, I do. Graham Clutterbuck, Square DJ, David Robertson, Weeby Clarity, Martin Leadham, Lords Kestrel, David Robertson, Bucko, Martin Leadham, Subcontract, Craig Beckwith, Divinite Agus, Stu Gray, Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry, Maritza, Thomas Rogers. That one won this race two seasons ago. Catching over hassle for Thomas Rogers as well. Let's hope, David Hooley, Viva La Rock, Kevin Minahanya, Kicker Moo Cow, Aurora, James Shea, and Charlie Two Shoes for Stu Gray. So that's your field then. Now the rain is coming down as they get underway in the Whitbread Gold Cup. Always a good race. This one they race to the first. And over it they go. And they're all safely over the first with the Graham Clutterbuck Grey. I do, I do, I do, I do. Pulling for its head and leading. Nothing seems to want to put any great pace into this race at the moment. Jockey's restraining the leader. And they're pretty tightly grouped as they make their way towards the second. Of the 21 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one. And they're all safely over that with... Right over on the far side, Penny Arcade. Just about the leader as they get into this ditch, which they're all safely over. And Penny Arcade is going to lead them past the stand then. With I do, I do, I do now settle down in second on this near side. Then comes Weeby Clarity in third with Subcontract and Daughter of the New Age. Then catching over Hassel, Bucko in the centre of the field. A bit wider on the track, you kick a moo cow, Aurora. And the back at the moment. It's just Vive La Rock and Charlie Two Shoes, but there's a long way to go yet. And Penny Arcade has now settled down into a comfortable three or four length lead from Subcontract in second. I do, I do, I do is now third on the inside with Dawn of the New Age fourth. We be Clarity in between them. And then catching over Hasland, you kick a move, Cal Aurora. Slight gap then back to Bucco and Let's Hope. And two years ago is winner Maritza. Nashville Ortega after that one and then the first of the three greys were running together uh, the Stu Grey one and the black with a yellow black with a yellow, the black with a green sash is Divinite Agus and the one in the green with the orange cap is Vive La Rock or Kevin Minahan and David Robertson's turquoise and blue hoops on the inside belong to Lords Kestrel the fourth of the greys is I do I do I do for Graham Clutterbuck who's in fourth as they approach the fourth fence so it's Penny Arcade then in the lead by a good five lengths. Popping over that one. Oh, well, it used to be the water, I think. And mistake at the back by Vive La Roque. Oh, that's the second part of the double, so I think it was probably... Uh, water was probably in that gap. Well, there was that big long run between the fourth. They probably just took the water out and filled the hole in rather than made it into a normal fence anyway. Enough waffle for me as they've gone over that ditch. They make their way down towards the railways now. And Penny Arcade is in the lead. By good seven lengths to your kick a mook Aurora second. Dawn of the New Age third. Bucko fourth. Then subcontract and let's hope. With Divinite Argus after that one. And then I do, I do, I do. Just drop back a little bit. We be clarity as they get over the first of the railways. And these are so close together that sometimes the back marker is still taking the one before. And the rest of them are over. They all got over the railways okay. One or two slight mistakes, but nothing too serious. And the whole field is still on its feet as it races round towards the pond fence for the first time. And Penny Arcade's lead is maybe as much as even 10 lengths now from your Kikamoo Cow Aurora in second. Then comes Subcontract and Let's Hope, Bucko after that one. And then uh, Dawn of the New Age, and I do, I do, I do. Square DJ is making a forward move as well. And they're nice. Nicely grouped, this field with the exception of the leader, Penny Arcade, who's well clear by a good eight lengths as they get to this next one. This is the pond fence, and over it they go, all safely over that one. And it'll be the two up the straight next, and then out to do it all again. And Penny Arcade continues to lead by a good eight to ten lengths. So you kick a Mook Aurora second, and Bucko third, and subcontract, and let's hope. And we'll jump in. Nicely, the leader really attacked that fence. Viva La Rock, they made a little bit of a mistake again at the back. And over this ditch. Oh, we'll safely over that one as well. So they make the way up the hill then now. Past the stand. And past the big screen and the winning post. And then they'll be out for one more complete circuit of the sand down track. 
and it's Penny Arcade that leads the Whitbread Gold Cup field with Bucko back in second and then Yikikamu Kaurora is third let's hope he's four and Subcontract is five then Subquare DJ is six and then comes Dawn of the New Age and I do I do I do and then Divinite Argus and Maritza and then Charlie Two Shoes and Catching Over Hassle we be Clarities after that one and then Nashville Ortega and finally Lords Kestrel and a little bit detached from the rest of them by about three lengths or so Vive La Roque is the back marker at this stage they're racing down towards the next fence then I'm pretty sure there used to be a water jump around here somewhere and you can still see it from the stand but anyway Penny Arcade is the leader from Bucco second and Subcontract third Mikikamuka Aurora is fourth water has been pretty much constant throughout the race Dropped back quite a bit is We Be Clarity in the Grand National winning colours. That one's dropped right towards the back, only got three behind it now. But it's Penny Arcade in the lead from Subcontract second, Bucko third, and you kick a mook Aurora fourth as they get over the 13th. The first part of this quick double. And I will say for the that Viva the Rock slow again now at the back. They'll come down to the take the ditch next. The leader's lead is now drastically reduced down to just two lengths as they make their way towards the business end of the race. The railways and the pond and then the final two in the straight. And this three mile five furlongs goes really quick this race and Penny Arcade is the leader from subcontract in second. Bucco is in third and Dora the New Age is in fourth. Over the railways they go then. And just see how they're all getting over them nicely, jumping really well these horses and over that one, they're all on their feet still as well with just three more to jump. And Bucco is now coming through to challenge Penny Arcade. Dawn of the New Age comes through on the outside. And look at this Divinite Argus round the outside. That one's coming through with a run down. The race is now really on square. DJ's got itself trapped in a bit of a pocket and has got absolutely nowhere to go. The jockey had to snatch up there and he's already got a double handful and he's got absolutely nowhere to go he's being held in there by Divinite Argus as well and it looks like Bucco might be coming to try and trap him in as well but he's finally got it and it's dawn of the new age coming down to the pond lands in the lead from Square DJ who's now got a clear run on the inside Divinite Argus on the outside it's Square DJ who's gone for home Square DJ then he's got a race towards the home straight with two more fences to take being chased hard by Divinite Argus these two are clear of Bucco in third dawn of the new age is fourth Lord's Kester is behind that one at the second last over it they go and it's Square DJ from Divinite Argus Bucco is making up ground so too is Lord's Kester it's David Robertson's also in the final fence but Bucco Bucco jumps into the lead and Bucco's taking it up, racing up the hill and Bucco is racing away now and this is going to be a fabulous win for Bucco, third season in the league and he races up towards the line, this is his biggest win by a long way, Bucco takes the Whitbread Gold Cup from in second place, very close, I do, I do, I do, Lord's Kestrel in square DJ after that one, catching over Hassan and your kicker Mukau, Aurora, both went in the closing stages and certainly been the most profitable part of the season for me at the moment as that's another feature long distance chase coming the way of Leedham Towers and we'll be pretty happy with that one because Bucco has been our top horse for the last couple of seasons really he's been overtaken this year but he's still only seven he was a novice chaser at five he was in as a handicapper at six last year and next year Maybe next year he'll be going for the likes of the Gold Cup. But anyway, Bucco takes it for Martin Leedham. I do, I do, I do for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Lords Kestrel for David Robertson was third. Divinite Argus for Stu Gray was fourth. And Square DJ for David Robertson was fifth. <laughs>